Hello everyone from the Anka YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to introduce you to one of the most strategic weapons developed by Turkey, the SOM Standoff Cruise Missile. SOM A, SOM B1, SOM B2 and SOM J are a family of standoff air-to-ground missiles that have been produced by Tubitak Sage to be used against ground and sea targets. The first two versions of the long-ranged, high-hit accuracy missiles SOM-A and SOM-B1's development and testing were completed in 2011 and 2013, and their delivery to the Turkish Air Force has begun. The SOM standoff cruise missiles use an advanced inertial navigation system INS, in addition to a GPS, a radar-based terrain reference navigation system and imaging infrared seeker IIR to find their targets. The SOM B-1 missiles have a 230kg, 500-pound high-explosive warhead, while their total weight is 600kg, 1300pounds. On the other hand, the SOM B-2 will have a penetrating warhead and will weigh 660kg. The 300km range missiles will be launched from the Turkish Air Force's F-4E 2020 and F-16 Block 40s, which won't have to get in range of an enemy's air defence systems in order to hit their targets with high precision. This will be aided by their small radar cross-sections, so they will be very difficult to detect by an adversary. Currently, the engine used in the SOM missiles is the TR-40 turbojet, which is made by a French company. However, an indigenous engine produced by Calais Aviation is expected to be completed this year and will be used in the missiles. After a missile has been launched from a warplane, its wings will open, allowing it to glide. Later on, its engines will start and the onboard computer will have its target coordinates and GPS, INS, IIR and terrain reference navigation system to guide it towards a target. In the case of the guidance systems failing, a preset waypoint can be followed by the missile, which would be uploaded to the onboard computer before launch. This would allow a high precision strike under any circumstances involving various technical failures. As a SOM missile advances towards its target at the terminal stage of flight, the Imaging Infrared Seeker, the automatic target recognition and identification technology, allows for just a few meters of precision by matching preloaded images of its target on the onboard computer. This allows the highly effective warhead to find and destroy the target. The SOM's projects A, B1 and B2 variants have been developed, while the development of the SOM-J missile for use against sea surface targets is already underway. The work for the SOM-J, which is being developed to be integrated for use in the F-35 Joint Strike Fighters Internal Weapons Bay, is scheduled to be completed in 2018. Rocket Sun is carrying out the introductory and marketing activities for some J for those countries that will be using or are part of a Joint Strike Fighter program's development. The ChemNet project was launched in order to gain the capability to use a nationally developed two-way data link to the missiles so that any needed changes to the flight path can be made. This means that any sea or land target that is moving or has changed position cannot avoid impact with the SOM standoff cruise missile. Work for the development and increased range of cruise missiles mean that the Turkish Armed Forces will gain high precision strike capabilities deep in an enemy's territory. In addition, developments for the land and sea surface missile launch platforms are ongoing, while it is also known that Turkey aims to reach 2,500 kilometers of range for the missiles. We have come to the end of our video intending to introduce you to the family of SOM standoff cruise missiles. To help support us, please like and share our videos. To be notified about our latest videos, you can subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Goodbye.